it is very important that we take it to god's presence every need that we have god is concerned but we are not supposed to be stuck in that but to grow from that last month i was just praying for a particular issue in my office every day i would ask him after one week again i started praying and i said lord i really need want you to do this and i heard the gentle voice of holy spirit saying is this really important and i began to think and i felt like no lord actually not really important many times certain things although we in our own eyes we feel that it is very important for us for god it may not be a concern that's why it's so important that we understand the heart of god god kept on speaking to the people of israel but they were in their own world he is sending prophets jeremiah ezekiel one after the other israel is very content we are very happy with our false prophets all our divinations and visions we are very comfortable he keeps speaking he keeps communicating to us through the word through leaders through pastor through his church many times but we are so adamant in our own little bubble we are not really listening to him you will be saying something but they will be concerned about something else i believe god sees sometimes our prayers like that one particular example where we see in the history of israel ezekiel chapter 22 first two verses lord is saying confront israel confront her what all sins she has committed specifically from verse 3 and 4 also verse 7 to 12 they have committed so many sins we see idolatry bloodshed sexual immorality violence lawlessness corruption and at the end very emotionally the lord says you have forgotten me most touching statement this is you have forgotten me do you see god's heart is in anguish and today he says son of man confront them with their evil deeds and tell them these are the sins they have committed secondly not only that he specifically points out the sins he also says there is a judgment for your sins in verse 13 to 16 can you imagine if god's judgment comes today where we will go we don't know but god's judgment is inevitable there are two major issues that god God had with nation of Israel. One was the people of Israel and their sins. In verse 20 and 24, I believe that God sees the people of our land and their sins and he says, son of man, your land is not cleansed. The second issue in verse 26, the priest, his own people whom he chose, God's name has been profaned constantly. Her priests do violence to my law and profane my holy things. Priests who are serving him by their conduct of compromised living they did not distinguish between the unclean and clean holy and unholy and the most important verse was verse 30 when israel was growing in wickedness when the situation was so bad when the priests were growing in wickedness god is saying if you will be saying yes today i am available i am ready to be that someone for your work to stand in the gap that's all he expects from us and he is not helpless no he is is giving us an invitation to take part in his mission i'm going to do something in history and i want you to take part in this mission he's not begging us who are we royal priests and what is the work of a priest to stand and mediate god cannot restore the land unless someone stands like a priest in 2 corinthians 4 4 they are in darkness they are ignorant they cannot stand and pray and confess their sins but we are not blind god has already opened our eyes to stand on their behalf ezekiel chapter 33 11 i don't take pleasure in the death of the wicked it is his heart that their eyes will be opened he always promises that i will rest- restore he wants to restore the land of india but what is he looking for the one person who will stand in the gap and ask him for forgiveness and god found such a person in daniel in the history of israel daniel chapter 9 verse 1 to 3 daniel probably when he read and probably when he heard this word that came from ezekiel that god is looking for someone and when he heard the sins of israel he humbled himself he knows about the wickedness of the kings of israel daniel is addressing and confessing everything we have rebelled lord we have been unfaithful we have forgotten we have not listened to the prophets he is addressing everything that was concerning god's heart everything that god felt the anguish in his heart was addressed by daniel was team and 16 there was only one man who responded to the call of god god is inviting each one of you today can you be that someone who will stand before me for this nation see how daniel beautifully prays this prayer 
prayer from verse 17 to 19 he is praying lord i am not asking because of our righteousness but because of your great name because of your great mercy he had that understanding because he read or he heard the word of god and he responded that is why it is so important that we understand the heart of god so that when we pray god will listen and answer so there is a restoration that is promised by god but will restoration happen automatically no between judgment and restoration there is always intercession there should be one person standing in the gap what happened in history we see that the judgment happened God said I will disperse you among the nations and happen from 606 to 536 BC God also promised restoration in his word we see from 538 to 444 BC the exile started coming back and they rebuilt the temple and the walls of Jerusalem when you see between these two events Daniel was praying he stood in the gap for 70 years and with own eyes he witnessed the rebuilding of the temple of Jerusalem do you see how how god did all this in response to the prayer of one man but at the background even today god is working if only we will say lord i am available be that someone who will stand in the gap god will restore this nation as he restored israel